Welcome back to Trip Talk Tech. We are on the red carpet of Bubba's Celebrity Basketball Game with my man Bull Bullet. How you doing, man? What's going on? You good, bro? I'm doing good, man. I'm here to put on this show for a good cause. You know what I mean, anti-bullying, mental health, um, all that. That's what's important. What is what is anti-bullying on this cause mean to you? Well, for me, when I was in uh, middle school and high school, like my ninth grade, tenth grade year, I used to get bullied and picked on. Um, and people would never think because I'm so tall and so big, right? I was never always this tall, never always this big. So um, middle school, high school, I used to get bullied, I used to get picked on, then I started standing up for myself, and then that's when the table started to turn. Um, but bullying prevention for me is real big. You know, I came from foster care. A lot of kids used to uh, tease me about being in foster care, my mom being on drugs, my dad not being around, little things like that, man. So I took all of that in and I embraced it. And then when I became a Globetrotter 13 years ago, I made sure I put that initiative forward that, um, that um, I talk about anti-bullying. After going through all of that stuff, you know, like you said, just foster care, yeah. all of that, just all of that type of stuff, but overcame yeah. and became a globe trotter playing in countries. How yeah. many countries Man. probably? Past 13 years of being a Harlem Globe Trotter, I've been to 70 countries. I've been to every state except for Alaska. Um, I've been to North Korea. I've had dinner with the leader of North Korea. I've been, uh, um, I've met a pope. I've, I've done a lot of things. Man, I hold three Guinness World Records right now. But I use all that as motivation to tell the kids that anything is possible with any situation that you're in, you know? Because like I was saying, I came from foster care. Prior to that, I used to sleep in cars, so. Now, what would you tell a kid that says, I want to be a globe trapper, I want to be a pro player, but yeah. somebody tells me, they ain't do something else, or hey, don't, don't focus on that. I tell them, get uncomfortable and do what you want to do in life. But if you want to accomplish any task in life, you got to get uncomfortable 100%. My Bull Body Project, one of my companies that I run and I own right now, is slogan is get uncomfortable. Take care of yourself. Um, um, your body is a project, always work on it. And not just the physical part, but you got to work on your mental as well. So for me, I always tell people, get uncomfortable. Every That's day, dope. Every, every morning I wake up, I look in the mirror, I make sure I tell myself, get uncomfortable. Because it's something I want to do today that I, I need energy for. Me telling myself to get uncomfortable and stay calm, I, I, I go ahead and I tackle that task. My man, my man. Hey, look, the most rewarding. As um, far as being a Globetrotter, I want to say the most rewarding part is doing things like this, man. Like going out and giving back to the community. Being a Globetrotter, you're set at such high stature where you're supposed to be unhumble because you're giving things like left and right. We got paid very, very well uh, being Globetrotters, but this comes to the, to the giving back aspect for me. Along with my teammates, they, they're not just hiring anybody to be Harlem Globetrotters. You got to have good, you got to be a good role model. You got to have good characteristics. Um, and, and you just got to be about the brand. The whole Harlem Globetrotter brand is always about that giving back aspect. Like me with my Bull Body Project, I do I try to do a free camp or a free clinic every year. Now with my Will Buller basketball, I'm trying to do something with that up in the Northern California area. Um, I got, uh, what else? I, I do a lot of things right now. I'm a corrective exercise specialist, a certified personal trainer. Um, I do a lot. And majority of my things is I can make so much money off of all these things that I'm doing, right? But I undercharge myself is because I got to give back to the community. I ran into two kids in the past who didn't have any money at all. They say, yo, I want to train with you. I said, come on, I know your situation. Let's do it. Now these kids are thriving. Why? Because all I did was build that confidence in them, gave them a little bit of motivation. I gave them that stuff for free. That's love. That's love. You got to pay it forward, man. You got to pay it forward. If you don't, I mean, why are you here? Hey, that's real. That's real. Now, look, we asked all our guests this before they get off of our show. Favorite kicks of all time. Favorite kicks of all times? Man. Wolf Grey Fives. Got to love it. Got to love it. Great game. We at Wolf Grey Fives. And I'm going to tell you why. Because before I knew what the Wolf Grey Fives was, I had a pair. And I messed around and sold them joints for $100. Oh. Sick. 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 Hey. But he got the money to do that. So, <laughs> hey, man, you go out there and rip it up today, man. Appreciate, appreciate it, brother. You, man. Yes, sir. Yes, Trip sir. Trip Talk Tech. Trip Talk Tech.